All right, let's get to more tough love. We're now joined by Katherine Reynolds Lewis. She's mm -hmm. author of The Good News it's About right Bad here. Behavior, Why Kids Are Less Disciplined Than Ever, and more importantly, what do we do about it? Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Great and, to be here. And, you know, being a research person, being a journalist, when I saw your title, title Why Kids Are Less Disciplined Than Ever, I'm like, can she prove this? I mean, kids have always misbehaved. So right. how, do you, how, do you, how did you prove this theory? Right, well, this was my central question, trying to understand, is it my imagination, or are kids less you know, behaved, are they a little bit more, more, more wild than when I was growing up? So I spent five years following researchers, looking through the literature, talking to educators and parents, and came up with pretty compelling research that kids have a lot less control of their behavior, thoughts and emotions than mm. even 10 or 20 years ago. And it comes out in anxiety, depression, ADHD, and the annoying day-to-day -day problems that parents and teachers experience. Wow. They have less control? Less control. Wow. Yeah, is there a, is there a set? I know we don't have, we're going to get chores, but do you have an oh. overall arching theme of why? Yeah. So three big reasons, the decline of childhood play, Kids aren't playing outside. Remember They're not we were playing talking about that. I was unstructured. telling you. Okay, good. Number two is all of our media and technology that's wonderful and just challenges our attention mm -hmm. and also leads to anxiety and depression if we don't pay attention to it. Right. And then the third is that kids are unemployed. As we will talk about later, they don't have household jobs, they don't have after school jobs, they are doing things that are just contributing to themselves and you know their achievements, which is wonderful, but they don't have that role, the belonging in a family where what they do matters. So That's, those dishes I did, those were good, good stuff. You know, you we're, know we're, we're, tur we're turning the, the finger, we're pointing the kids and we're turning it right back on us. Sounds like it's the mm. parents who need to change the way they're thinking. I can't wait to read your book. I read a book that talked about getting kids outside to play as much as possible you have five tips that can help people at home can we go through those yeah so with bad behavior it's counterintuitive but number one connect before you correct your child Meaning, Otherwise, you will just get resistance. Connect so have, with them. Connect with them. Have one, some way of just touching them that helps them self-regulate mm -hmm. and then say, and what's our screen rule again? Mm -hmm. Number two is focus on play and fun whenever you can. Mm -hmm. It's a huge driver for kids and their motivation. So whenever you can turn it into a game, be silly instead of being strict, kids may okay. just be surprised into cooperating. Number three is the four R's rule of, of consequences, which is mm -hmm. in the book. Um, number, f number four is to model good behavior, as you said, and model self-regulation. And number five is to have the courage to be imperfect. So we all make mistakes. That's yeah. how kids learn. That's how we adults learn. And if we can't model that for our kids, you know, I messed up. This is how I'm going to do it differently next time. Yeah. How will our kids learn to do it? Wow. That's beautiful. I mean, that is beautiful. wow, so much good information. And we're showing these beautiful pictures of kids doing chores and looking so happy. So you have an age appropriate, you know, some ideas on that. Like, <laughs> they're what's playing so games. Funny? They're not doing chores. They're doing <laughs> playing games. So That's no, why they're happy. Really, the, for kids, they think it's fun. They At do. two or three or four, or they just want to be with you. Yeah. They're making a mess with the soapy water. Mm -hmm. They're spraying the little spray. And let them think it's fun. And they will think it's fun as long as we do it with them at those early ages. And they'll be messy. They may not do it perfectly. But whenever they're contributing, that builds the foundation mm -hmm. for then really doing it well later in life. So we don't have to wait until they're 13. Right. So what age should no, we start? I yeah. start as soon as they start saying, I do it myself. OK. Ooh, if I you think can that's do it yourself on that. You can do yeah. it yourself on this laundry. Do your no. shoes go there? No, they go in the bedroom. You guys want to go play outside? Let's clean okay. up the living room before we do that. So, Catherine Reynolds Lewis, thank you so much for joining us. Yes. This is the book, The Good News About Bad Behavior. And you guys can text the word chores at the bottom of the screen, 206 448 4545. We'll get you some information, but this sounds yeah. like a good read. Play, less device time, and more chores. And make it play. fun. Yes, and fun. Thank you. My that pleasure. Was awesome. Thank you.